Good afternoon, good evening, and today is very glad to be here. Uh, I was looking for the website which our colleague just mentioned. Can you play the first, as it says, many schools not working the through spending on the
make your communication democratic, and you will not have these problems. I did not understand what they were saying. But I did slowly, and that's what we try to do. Can I have a first slide? They said, when we sit in a village, in a panchayat, or in a small room or a hall, the communication is democratic. And the reason this communication is democratic because the media, the media used for that communication, like here, is air, which is not owned by anybody, or which is not owned by a small number of people. Then it is a democratic communication, then it is a dialogue, then it solves problems. I tell my problem, maybe you solve the problem and we live as a community. But what has happened with you guys? They told me, these savages, these adivas, these bad natures, and I was really see You have turned into a Hitler nation and you have become like a fool. So the majority of people still live in the bottom. But some of you have become rich, some of you have become higher in character. And the media, the media, when we are in a small, a small room, the air can help us communicate. But we need a machine to communicate when we live far off. But we are still a community. Community work comes from communication. If you do not have a communication, you cannot be a community, you cannot solve each other's problem. So that machine, he said, has built up, not there in that circle. And it's controlled by a small number of people. And imagine in that circle, if the machine or the air, the medium, if it is owned by the punch, if it is owned by one or two, powerful men and women, what will happen? Will that make a democratic problem solving communication platform? Maybe not. Because as soon as we start speaking against that powerful person, he or she will switch off that machine and will not be able to communicate. So what is happening is you are hearing that message from Tarmeta. A message from Tarmeta village from a woman who probably does not speak the language we speak is important enough to be a news or not is decided at the top that that was a I do, where I say I decide what a small group of us decide what is news and what is not news this is the aristocratic body which they were talking about our politics was like this before a small number of kings and queens and their ministers. They decided what is good for us, where the road should be built. But 1947, that changed. Of course, democracy is not functioning very well. But for a political democracy to function well, we need to have a democratic communication plan. Is that possible? And that's why I am here. We think yes, with the help of technology. Can we go back to democratic communication platform? Why we do not live in the same room or in the same village? Can we create technology and machines which can be owned by more people? So in a communication, there are more role of people a smaller or little role for money, a smaller number of people with concentrated power. So what we started doing in Chhattisgarh, we went to some friends who worked with technology. At that time it was friends from MIT in America. They helped us. So imagine we're still in the same circle, though we may be you know, 100,000 people, not 100 people. And we do not live in the same room or same Village. 
we need to find technology which we can use to continue our dialogue, to continue to solve our problem. In Allah figured it is earlier than it comes. They played drums and the messages went to two greatest takeaways. Can we find more machines which people own? We found a new machine. And that was mobile phone. A mobile phone is a personal communication tool. It's not a mass communication tool. What do we do more? They have radio. Radio is one way of communication. That is not very much. Internet, fantastic. It helps us. Facebook is really democratic. But the reach of internet in places like Chhattisgarh, 0.7%. We can't go very far. But we try to mix and match. And what we have done, rocket science part of it, is we have put a computer in the middle, which we call server. We all know about this. And we have added a mobile phone into that computer. So this server, apart from having address also has a phone number. So that phone in Dante Vata for Tara Pita village. Now, when they were telling me that it is not a mouse problem, what they were actually telling that you will put that hundreds of Vatas, hundreds of mouse cat. So how many of them were actually mouse? Of course there are mouse in every society. There are extremists for extreme views, but they are always in a small number. They never become the biggest security threat. We don't hear and we will have to hear. The voice is the last person. We will have to find technology which will help us hear and have dialogue. The last person in this world, then only we can have peace. So what we have done is, as I said, we have put a small server in Bangalore and we received these calls, which why mainstream media, people like me, are not listening? Many reasons. And one of the obvious reasons is, I do not understand the language of that home. There are 10 crore Adivasis in this country, 100 million. Not bigger than many countries we are just listening about. But there are not a single Adivasi journalist who can tell their own stories. You need to be a Brahmin to be a journalist. Now I'm not talking about a caste here. As we have done in politics, as politics has become everybody's business, we think it is time that communication also needs to be democratic. And that is possible with the help of technology. I'll finish with Gandhiji. When Gandhiji was asked, what is your idea about your nation? What is your idea about your self-dependent nation? And he said, think of a Buddha path. And the distance a bullet car can cover in a gate, whatever kilometer that is, and make a circle around it. That's my idea of a self-dependent nation. What he was talking about is a group of 30, 50 villages where one village is more rice and one village is more cotton, one village. They can they can exchange things and live. Of course we do things from outside as well. Life in political democracy, we choose our leader who governs. In the same way, the challenge for us is can we create a communication platform which will be independent and free? When I say free, I'm not talking about subsidized fee, which our things can be here. It comes to us free, it comes with a huge, huge cost. Actually, it does not give us the appropriate information. So, in Gandhiji's language, can we create this 
hundreds and thousands of small voice based Facebooks, which will take help from internet, technologies like internet, but will primarily be working on voice to start. Can we have voice Facebooks? Can we have voice speakers? So that these villagers of 30, 50, or 30,000, 50,000, they can communicate amongst themselves, hundreds of messages during the day, they can have dialogue. In the same way, they choose someone, I'm saying choose, not, you can't choose me. Who owns that communication platform, they choose me, tell you what is good about me, tell you what is good about you, tell you what is right and bad. If we can choose our communicators, and from there, if there is a bottom-up news, if out of those hundred small voice book groups, 70 are they talking about the problem. This woman was talking about in Tarkitla. She was talking about there are 250 schools in her area. And out of them, half of them are not working in the last 2008. Government is spending lots of money on the schools. Government is spending lots of money on maintaining of those schools. The schools are actually not functioning. Those stories are not coming out. So if these kind of stories do not come out, then they get led by someone. The problem actually was that my school is not functioning. But when the reader, which is an accidental reader, I say, the Maoist reached these areas, it's a the accident of history. If Bajrangal reached their core, we would call it a Bajrangi semester. That's how we get it wrong. So we can solve this problem by starting a dialogue, by communicating with each other, rather than having a top-down communication platform. There are very small number of people, a very powerful, and they decide what is important to be told and not told and that is possible with the help of technology and I I am here to request all of you to please think about it. It's difficult when you work with voice when you're hearing hundreds and thousands of voices, how do we manage it? But if we want a better future, if we want a better tomorrow if we want a better world, we will have to try and find a solution to it, and we can do it. Yes, we can do it. Thank you very much.